Hey there game designers, in this tutorial series I'm going to be explaining step by step how to create a survival game in Unity from scratch. We're going to be focusing on creating original assets so that our game is unique. Other tutorials on YouTube are explaining how to drag and drop assets that were already created into your game. But we want to make a game that's one of a kind. Not using other people's assets, but making our own artwork and designing it to how we like it. Each part's going to be focused on a different asset. This asset that we're going to be focusing on is the skybox. And this is going to be a two-part video. Part one is going to be focusing on the background of the skybox, how to create all six sides of the cube. And part two is going to be focused on the sun, which is a lens flare that's going to be animated so that it has an illusion of a day-night cycle. And we're not just going to be using the lens flare that Unity gives us, but we're going to be creating our own. So since this is part one of the series, let's create a folder to put all of our game items in. Let's start Unity up and only import the character controller package. The character controller is going to be temporary. We're just using it as a tool to see how well we're doing until we make a better character controller in the future. For this series, I like the layout of Tall with a project tab layout of one column. A good name to save your scene as is World since you'll be, this is where all the main, this is the main map. And then you're going to have other scenes for things like the title. Let's create a folder to hold all of our skybox items in. The pictures that will correspond to each side, the material that's the skybox itself, and the sun. The skybox itself is a material which uses the shader of render FX skybox. And you can see we have a little box to fill in for each of the sides. I'm going to be using Photoshop to create the background of the skybox, but you can apply the same method to a free photo editing software like GIMP. Let's make the background color be... Let's have the background be somewhat of a light blue. You don't want to make it too dark, and you don't want to make it too light. Somewhere around here, here's the settings. It'll look pretty good. Then for the color that it fades into, we're going to want to take that color, just make it a little bit lighter, almost white, right around here. Now let's create a square, which is going to be 4,000 pixels by 4,000 pixels, have a resolution of 2048, and have a uh, bit depth of 16. Now we're going to use a gradient tool can get by pressing G and for the mode of it you can just go to the little settings tab and reset the gradients and then go to the second gradient option it's got here now you can drag from the bottom to about 75 percent of the way up in a straight line to about here and then this is going to create an effect that the sky gets a darker blue as the altitude gets greater. That's most of the work for the background of the sky. But how do we turn this into six corresponding sides? Well, there's a great software for that. I'll show it to you just here in a second. But first, before we save this as a JPEG, let's blur it. And the reason we want to blur it is so that when you're in the game and you're looking up at the sky, it's harder to tell that the... Um, it's harder to see the lines as the color gets lighter. When it's really blurred, you just won't notice it. The more you blur it, the longer it'll take, but the better it'll look. Now we're going to save this as a JPEG in the folder that we created in Unity. Maximum quality. And now we have the background of the sky that will be made into six different corresponding sides. So download this software right here, which I'll have a link for it into the, the description. Yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> and then you're going to just simply open up the picture in it that we created. Set the op under options, set the resolution to 2048 and extract all of the sides. It's take a little while. 
and it's going to extract all the sides in the folder we created. And then from there, we can put the corresponding sides where they need to be. Now once the software's magically made all the corresponding sides, you can close it. We're going to take each side that was created and uh, make their settings the same. We're going to want the wrap mode to be clamped, the max size to be 4096, format to be true color, and that will give it a better look. And uh, if your wrap mode isn't clamped, you'll see the seams of each of the sides. What I really like about the software is it tells you what each corresponding side is. So you just have to drag them to the correct spot. Once you've done that, go to Edit, Render Settings, and then just drag that material over into the Skybox material. Now look into the sky. It should be pretty smooth. It should have no seams. The color should be lighter down here. And as the altitude gets greater, the blue gets darker. And if you're happy with this color, then there's your background. And say there's something you don't like or you want to add in. It's really simple to just open up what side you want to edit in whatever software you're using. Say we want to make a little cloud, which I'll show you clouds in a different video, a little better style of doing them. You can just save it as it is, and then go back to Unity, and it'll automatically apply it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comment them below, and in the next part I'll be explaining the sun.